All right, what is up, guys? Random Money here. We've been watching Samsung Galaxy versus H2K. This is game three. Galaxy is up two points to zero, two games to zero. So H2K is up against the wall. I really feel like they need to completely change up their uh, pick ban phase, or they're going to have all sorts of issues. Uh, Samsung Galaxy bans out the Caitlyn, Syndra, Lee Sin. I think those are pretty good bans. Yankos has been very good on the Lee Sin. Uh, Ryu is great on Syndra, and Forgiven is fantastic on Caitlyn. HK bans out the Jin, the Nidalee, and the Ash. I feel like this is a mistake because they, they're leaving up the victor for Crown, and Crown is the best victor player um, in the world. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like they should have let... E I think they probably should have let the Jin go through. I, I understand banning the Ash, so that way they don't have the Ash mis misfortune combo in the bot lane. Um, but leaving the victor up is going to be a huge mistake for H2K. Samsung Galaxy goes for Olaf first pick. H2K responds with Rise and Sivir. I also feel like the Sivir pick is um, a mistake as well. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the Sivir is a mistake. You need to have an, a good early game, and Sivir really doesn't kick online until like three or four items, and she's definitely much more of a utility carry. So. Um, yeah, and then Samsung Galaxy responds with Zyra and Victor, as I was fearing. Um, this is going to be really rough for H2K. So they get the Zyra, they get the Victor, they have the Olaf already. Um, this draft phase is, is not going well for, for H2K at all. They need to have some winning lanes. I don't think that HGK can go for the Misfortune. I think Karma is probably their best choice, or maybe even a Nami. Alright, so HGK goes for the Karma and the Elise. Uh, I mean, Elise is, is, is good. I think Elise is probably the next best pick that they can go for. The Karma is kind of a, a default pick. So... Hmm. I hope that they pull out the 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 Jace for um for Odo. I feel like they have to go pull out the Jace for him. Last two picks for Samsung Galaxy are Ezreal Poppy. I think that rounds out the team comp really well. Uh, even if they lose top lane with Odo. I think that they're pretty much guaranteed to win mid lane with Crown on Victor. And then the Ezreal Zyra is a pretty strong bot lane. Um, it's not too scary going up against the Sivir. I think that Ezreal does very well. Alright, so they locked in the Trundle. So what they're telling me with this is that they want to have Odo just split push pretty much the whole game. Because Trundle should be able to... Um, Outscale, out damage, out push the poppy all throughout the game. The real question is going to be if if um, ambition gets pretty well fed on the Olaf. Olaf will be able to go toe to toe with the Trundle. Um, so yeah, it's going to be. This is this is hard. I feel like like HUK will have a. Uh, decent top lane matchup. They should be able to win the laning phase. They're going to lose mid lane. And then bot lane, I do give the advantage to uh, Samsung Galaxy. <clears throat> so yeah, it's really going to depend on the junglers and bot lane yet again. But I do feel like Samsung Galaxy has, has the better pick ban phase for a third time. Um... Yeah, I think they made some huge mistakes. And they just burned the ghost out of Ryu. Alright, so I'm expecting Ambition to probably camp mid lane now. 
and get a uh, crown ahead on the victor. So yeah, I'd expect Ambition to play around mid lane. Uh, I think that that Yankos needs to devote some attention to bot lane. But it's just really hard to land that cocoon onto the Ezreal. So the Rise will be able to outpush the Victor until Victor gets his Hextech uh, upgrade. Ryu's doing a really good job. So you get the flash out of Crown, but he still has his cleanse. Yep, there we go. Ambition. Um, ganking yet again, but uh, Ryu had his, his ghost up already, but he also burned his flash. Really good job by Ambition. Ambition's trying to take over this game. Really good job. So I expect Ambition to come uh, mid lane again because Ryu has no summoners. And Ryu will definitely outpush Crown. Yeah, Crown only has double Dorns. He hasn't gotten his Hex Tech upgrade. Ooh. Well played. Very well played. They knew that um, Core JJ was going to start rotating back to bot lane. They just waited in the bush. Uh, got the flash out of Core JJ. They ended up diving, and it was a little bit sloppy because um, Yankos had already used his repel right here. So he didn't have his repel to do the, the turret aggro juggling. So yeah, you see, he he draws turret aggro, he flashes, but if he had had the repel, that would have allowed them to execute that dive a lot uh, cleaner. So minor mistake from H2K there. They do end up getting a two for one, but it wasn't as clean as it could have been. Good. Good job. Wow, this is actually really impressive. Uh, Kuve up in top lane has a 20 CS lead over Odo. This is a very good run by Kuve. Nope, nope, not able to get anything from it. Yep, that's death right there. Alright, good job. Look at the vision control that uh, Samsung Galaxy also has all around mid lane. Yeah, they have uh, four pink wards up right now. One of them just got cleared by Yankos. This is a good rotation by uh, by H2K, but they wind up. Wow. I want to see how that um, 
how that play got botched so badly because that looked like it was the right call. Oh, they completely rushed it. Like, you have to wait until the wave hits the tower before you can go for that play. So it wound up being a it wound up being a two versus two in the bot lane rather than a four versus two or a five versus two. So that was just a huge botched play by H2K, and that actually really cost them because they also lost top tower during that trade. So that's that's really unfortunate. I mean, it was the right call. They were making the right call. They just rushed it way too much, and they're not going to even get the tower. Okay. They might be able to get it next um, next wave. Okay, so they're able to trade back the tower, but they're still going to be down uh, 3k gold. So the, the issue is, is that uh, because of that misplay, HK is definitely on the back foot, but they don't necessarily have a, they don't necessarily outscale Samsung Galaxy, right? If you're looking at like Rise versus Victor, I mean, the Victor scales very well. Maybe not as well as the Rise, but it's still comparable. And if you're looking at like Ezreal versus Sivir, um... Sivir is, is great at like four items, but Ezreal is, is a very strong scaling AD carry. And then if you're looking at top lane, yeah, Odo's going to have the, the split push down, but um, Poppy can get really scary in team fights, especially around Baron Pit, because she can eject, you know, the jungler from the Baron Pit. So I think that the only way that H2K can actually win this is through a uh, really good split pushing from Odo. And it's much easier for Samsung Galaxy to win because all they have to do is get, you know, like one pick, you know, one person being out of position and they can use the Poppy Ultimate to isolate somebody, you know, Olaf with the Ragnarok. Um, yeah, I definitely think that Samsung Galaxy has easier win conditions than HK has right now. I th yeah, I think the biggest advantage that H2K has is that they can have Odo split pushing and they can even also have um, the Rise split pushing. Because even though he doesn't have teleport with his ultimate. Yeah, there we go. With his ultimate, they can kind of run a 1 3 1. And I don't think that uh, Samsung Galaxy could match that. So if they run the 1 3 1 effectively. They have to really rely on Forgiven being able to wave clear in the mid lane. However, running the 1 3 1 against an Olaf can be very precarious because Olaf can literally just run at you and there's nothing you can do to stop him. Oh, wow, look at the damage. Yeah, Kuve should not be pushing in Odo this easily. Yep, this is looking really bad for HCK. Doesn't have vision. So we're over a uh, 5k difference, almost 6k. Yeah, 
My goodness. And this is just going to get worse. Like, as Crown starts getting more items, he's going to be able to pretty much one-shot people. Uh, HGK is in a really precarious position. They actually might lose Baron because they got chunked out so quickly. Yep. This is just going from bad to worse for HUK. I don't... I think the only way that they can win this now is a throw. If they go to, like, really late game. But the only way they can do that is if Odo is able to successfully split push against, um... Kuve. But so far, it looks like the Poppy is holding her own against the Trundle. a little bit ambitious from ambition wow two towers already down i don't know why odo is um top side he's not gonna be able to do anything against the victor so not only are they gonna lose top inhib tower they're also gonna lose bot inner tower this actually might be the game this just straight up might be the game Oh. Ruler going down was actually huge. That might keep H2K in the game for a little bit longer. However, they're going to give up another Infernal Drake, most likely. Wow, this is already a 12k gold difference, and we're at 25 minutes. Yeah, I don't think there's any way that um, H2K can come back in this one. Crown's flashing forward on Victor, he's not afraid of anyone. Three inhibs down. Yeah, this is pretty much GG. This is really unfortunate. Oh, good job. They were able to get one kill. Well played. Well played by Samsung Galaxy. I feel like HUK really kind of shot themselves in the foot all three games with Champ Select. Uh, I mean, games are not decided in Champion Select, but you can give yourself an advantage or a disadvantage to start the game off with a good pick ban phase. And HUK played uh, their pick ban phase really poorly, which put them behind. They made some actually some really good calls in in the early game in a couple of their games that allowed them to um, stay in the game, but uh, Samsung Galaxy just had better macro. You could see that that even though like the kills would be even, and even though the the towers would be even, Samsung Galaxy would have like a thousand gold lead, and they just kept snowballing that gold lead, and they were able to rotate the objectives a lot better than HK was. So, unfortunately, um, the last European team goes out. We're going to have an all-Korean final once again. Uh, and speaking of the final, I was thinking about possibly casting the final live. So the advantage of that would be is that, you know, I'd, I'd obviously get the video out sooner. So I'd be casting it live while other people are watching and you guys could watch it with me if you wanted to. Um, the disadvantage of that is that it would be at normal speed, so the videos would be much longer, and I wouldn't be talking the whole time, because I would pretty much lose my voice if I talked, like, non-stop the entire five games. So I'd probably, you know, talk a little bit, and then I would bump up the volume again, so you could hear what the, what the casters were saying, and then when I had something to say, I would, you know, lower the volume so that you guys could hear me talk. But if you guys are interested in me doing that, let me know. Uh, leave a comment or whatever. Uh, otherwise, I'll just, you know, do what I normally do and cast them after they're done so that way I can cast them at a higher speed and, and get you guys uh, 
through the game much faster and I can fast forward through kind of like the boring parts of the game. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Should I cast the finals live or should I be do what I normally do, which is cast them after they're played? Um, but I hope you all have a great day. This is Ranmonium signing off.